<laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, I was running late. Ash is sick and I had to find someone to look after and then I couldn't find my damn transit pass. It's been a little wild. <laughs> well, you've made good time. You're here before anyone else. Only because that's when the bus comes. It's either get here really early or really late. So I get here early. Oh, thanks, Mr. H. I'm all set. <laughs> so how is Ashley? You said she was ill. Oh, it's just a cold. That which does not kill us it makes us stronger. Right? So they say, yes. <laughs> Keep a close eye on her, will you? Toddlers can get sick very quickly. Oh, of course. That's what I always do. It's not like there's anyone else to help. Is your mother still not on the scene? Ugh, no change there. She's too stoned to notice I'm even alive, let alone that she's got a granddaughter. Well, forgive me for asking, but what about the father? <laughs> oh, you must be kidding. He had his fun, that's all he's interested in. Certainly not in raising a kid or being a dad. Legally, he does owe you support payments. Okay, I don't want anything from him. Ash and I are just fine on our own. Or at least we will be once I get my results from tonight. That is, if it's good news. You wanna know if you passed. <laughs> sure, <laughs> that's the only reason to come to the last class. You don't really do any work. <laughs> I see you figured out the system pretty quickly. How many night school courses is this now? Oh, my third. Two of them with you. And this credit, oh, it's the big one. It gets me my high school diploma. <laughs> I know it doesn't sound much like when you compare it to what you've done with teaching degrees and all, but it's what I want to do. It's the first part of my plan. Oh. And what's the follow? Well, if I get my credit, I'm applying to something bigger, something I can be proud of. Aren't you proud of the work that you do now? <laughs> what? Working in a laundromat? What's to be proud about that? It's work. Honest work. Puts food on the table. Not much. I can barely feed the two of us. That is why I've got bigger plans. What would you like to do? Well, I'd like to win the lottery and tell the world to piss off, but that is not going to happen, is it? I'd say the odds are against it. But, well, there's always the chance of an unexpected windfall, I suppose. <laughs> not for me. Nothing good ever happens to me. Except for Ash. Oh, I mean, she was an accident, but she's the best thing that's ever happened in my life, by far. <laughs> And if you don't win the lottery, what's your main goal? The hospital. Oh, there are reception jobs going there. I want to get one of them. Uh, you'll need further training. Oh, I know. I've got it all figured out. There's a community college that's going to teach me all that I need to know to work with the desk. I mean, I can brush up on my telephone and computer skills. At night school? Oh, of course. Well, that'll take some time. Yeah, but it'll be worth it. Got a full time day job? <laughs> It'll be like a dream. And when that happens, I can spend my nights with Ash and be like a normal family. Well, almost normal. And all that starts with tonight's class. Well, I won't keep you in suspense any longer. Yes, you passed the class. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God, that's great. Oh God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yourself. You've earned it. Your work has improved greatly. I think you'll be able to handle that college course if you apply yourself and put the work in. Oh, I will. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> oh, God, I have such plans for the future. Someday, I want Ash to go to a real university. You know, like, like where you went. Then she could do anything she likes and not have to rely on stoners and losers to give her what she needs. It'll take time and a, and a lot of money, but I'll be able to put some away. Once I get a decent job, I'll put some away from her. That's what I really want. It's a noble goal. I wish you luck. Thanks. So, what about you, Mr. H? What are you gonna do when classes are over? Me? Well, normally I take a break and 
then start teaching in the fall. So what are you going to do this summer? Well, the usual. Rest, read, contemplate the universe. Any big trips planned or anything? Yes, actually. Uh, I will be taking a trip. Uh, a long one. Any place nice? Uh, I don't know. I'll find out when I get there. Oh, well, good for you. You deserve it. Just you and your wife going? What? Oh, uh, no, no, I, I'm not married. Well, that is, I'm a widower. My wife passed away three years ago. Oh, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're still wearing your wedding ring, so I, I just thought you were married. Oh, no, I just kept wearing it. It's a part of me now. I suppose I could remove it, but it's all we have left. No kids? No, no. We had a little girl, but she became ill and passed away. Meningitis. We never had another. I am so, so sorry to hear that. You must get lonely. Well, yes, sometimes very lonely. But I have my books, and I like to research things. I keep busy. You ever think <clears throat> you're married again? Don't you want someone to, I don't know, be physical with? Well, of course I do. It's only natural. Well, get out there then. <laughs> you're not a bad-looking guy. I'm sure there's someone that's just right for you. Yes, I think there is. Listen, Samantha, I'd like to talk to you about something before the others arrive. Oh, go ahead, shoot. Uh, this is really awkward. I, I, I'm not sure how to begin. I, I've been watching you this past year, and I think you're an amazing young woman. You're intelligent, and you're strong, and you're determined. Well, thanks, Mr. H. I think you're pretty cool, too. And, and I've been thinking about you a lot, every day. You do? And I've been considering your situation. My situation? Your family life. Uh, a single parent supporting your daughter alone without much money. It must be very difficult. Yeah, it is. So? Uh, I think I can help you. Uh, it's, a, it's a perfect solution. I have an abundance of money, and you need money. So I have a proposition. Huh. What I'd like to do is this. You it's son a... of a bitch. What? I know what you'd like to do. Oh, no, no, no. You, you don't understand. I, I understand exactly what you want, you bastard. Samantha. Take one more step and I'll use this. God, you make me sick. I thought I could trust you. It's not what you think. Samantha. Uh, uh, I'm what? Ill. What? I'm very, very ill. I'm dying. Fuck off. I'm telling you the truth. I have terminal cancer. This is the last class I'll ever teach. By fall, I'll be too weak to return. I'm not expected to make it to Christmas. You're telling me the truth? Yes. I wish it wasn't, but sadly, it is the truth. You're really dying? Oh my God, I thought- I know what you thought and it's not like that. I just want to help you, Samantha, financially. You and Ashley, no strings attached. Why me? Well, I have no one else to leave my money to and you two are worthy of it. <laughs> Think of it as a scholarship. You can go to college and be a full-time day student and you'll have all the money you need for Ashley's university fund. I, I don't know what to say. Just say yes, and you'll make us both happy. I, I would ask one slight favor. Visit me occasionally, once I'm in the hospice. Could you do that for me? I, I mean, I'll have to think about it. It's, it's a lot to take in. It is. Just don't take too long. I won't. I'll get back to you. 
Thank you. Look, I'm sorry, but I, I can't stay for this class. I, I've got to go. Of course. Just give some thought to my offer, please. Are you kidding? It's all I can think about. Thanks for everything. I'll be in touch. Oh, and enjoy your last class, sir.